This is Punishing Grey Raven's most anticipated character of all time. Lucia Crimson Weave, better known by her moniker Alpha, single-handedly drew thousands of players to Punishing Grey Raven after her release in the Chinese version of the game. And now, she's finally ready to unleash her power in the global version. But does she live up to the hype? Big thank you to Kuro Games for sponsoring this video. Thanks to them, we can share a lot more than usual, so buckle up. Now I'm motivated. Punishing Grey Raven takes place in a dark future where all life has been ravaged and decimated. A terrible plague known as the Punishing Virus has spread throughout the world, corroding the human body like venom and causing once helpful mechanoids to become corrupted and slaughter every human in sight. With no way to defend against it, humanity's elite escape to Babylonia, a space station, and it is from there that the military operates to reclaim Earth. As a last-ditch effort to fight the corrupted mechanoids and the virus, scientists learn how to transform suitable humans into androids known as constructs. Those who survive this brutal surgery lose their human rights and become tools of war. It is your duty as Commandant to lead a team of constructs known as Grey Raven into the battlefield and an uncertain future. If you're anything like us, you'll come to love Lucia immediately. Wait, not that Lucia, this Lucia. The themes of the story, the music, and the fast-paced action combat feel like a love letter to Nier Automata, while managing to stand out as something completely unique. Due to popular demand, PGR offers an official PC client that supports both controller and mouse and keyboard, as well as a full English dub. If you want to walk with me, then let's go. So, how does Alpha fit into all this? Well, she's actually the game's first boss. I think I speak for a lot of players when I say Alpha captured my heart from the moment she kicked my ass in the prologue. After spending a long period of time working behind the scenes, Alpha is back to take center stage in Wintry Shackles. We won't spoil anything here, but we will say we highly recommend reading this chapter. Most importantly, Wintry Shackles will let you experience what it's like to play Lucia Crimson Wave yourself, even if you haven't obtained her yet. If you don't want to spend dozens of hours catching up on the entire story to prepare for Alpha, we recommend at least checking out these interlude stories and skimming the story summary on greyravens.com. Speaking of preparing for Lucia Crimson Weave... Hold it! If it's time to talk about Alpha, then I'll take it from here. Alpha's first frame, known as Lucia Crimson Abyss, took the center stage as the favored physical attacker for two years, until she was recently ousted from her position by Bianca Stigmata. Joke's on her though, because Alpha has returned with a new frame to kick Bianca to the curb. Well, at least Bianca's old Veritas frame anyway. Lucia Crimson Weave is the best lightning attacker in the game. Not only does she have power, but longevity too, keeping her place in the meta well into 2025. For the time being, you can pair her with lightning tank Vera Garnet and the support Live Lux. When playing as Crimson Weave, you could just jump in there and watch the sparks literally fly as she demolishes everything in her path. But if you want to play her a little more efficiently, her rotation looks something like this if you're at double S rank. Enter with your tank and swap immediately to Crimson Weave. Open with sword waves by dodging and tapping basic attack. Doing so will give you enough energy to trigger her signature move, which sees Alpha unsheathing her Odachi. Odachi in hand, your goal is to make this number on her core passive gauge as big as possible. You can do this a few different ways. Three pings, the aforementioned sword waves, and using her charged attack will add points to the gauge. To charge, hold down dodge. When fully charged, release the button and Alpha will dash forward and attack. Along with giving her points, this will also trigger her allies' QTEs, so give them a tap when they come up. For her core passive, hold down basic attack and Alpha will launch her enemies up into the air and deal massive damage. The higher the number on your core gauge, the stronger this attack will be. The majority of Alpha's damage comes from this move. Press the signature button again and Alpha will do a huge slash and sheath her Odachi. Then press the subscribe button. This completes one rotation. Note that for the next rotation, the fastest way to activate her signature move again is with the charged sword attack that you get by holding dodge. Confused? Don't worry. What it boils down to is tap sig, have fun, do her core passive, then do her signature again. Rinse and repeat. Since Crimson Weave is not as orb hungry as some of the other characters, you can keep her on the field for multiple rotations. 
Garnet and Lux just it can't keep up with the raw, destructive power of Alpha. And since you'll be seeing so much of her, you might want to pick up a new outfit. Jo Lu's reign is a coating with rich inspiration and a charming backstory. Thanks to our translator Fotis, we are able to bring the story to a global audience. While designing the coating, Kuro Games' art team kept two key terms in mind, caged beast and restraints. These key terms are expressed through elements such as Alpha's handcuff and the runes on her skin, both symbolizing the restraining of ancient power from within. These runes reminded the art team of Meow Witchcraft, and so they added the silver jewelry of the Meow culture, believed to be able to ward off evil. The Miao people are one of the ethnic minority groups in southern China and Southeast Asia. Facing trouble with the jewelry design due to a lack of understanding of Miao silversmithing, Kuro paid a visit to Wu Xu Gun, a representative at the Beijing Research Institute of Intangible Cultural Heritage and Ethnic Arts and a nationally recognized Miao silversmith. He saw this collaboration as a great chance to introduce the Miao culture to younger people. With this new knowledge in hand, Kuro's art team set about modifying the design of the jewelry based on Mr. Wu's advice. Chrysanthemum motifs were added to the coating design, as it is a symbol of significance in Miao culture. Alpha is draped head to toe in Miao imagery, from popular accessories such as the collar, earrings, and bracelets, to the cloth around her waist, which showcases Miao embroidery, another important craft in Miao culture. Having seen the silver jewelry with their own eyes, Kuro's 3D model designers were able to adjust the details of the 3D model better, and it shows. This is such a beautiful and underrated coating, punctuated by its thoughtful cultural significance and respect towards Miao culture. Oh, and also, she has the Sharingan. As is standard with special effects coatings, all her attacks have different particles and colors, as well as a custom victory animation. This coating is a permanent option in the shop, but during her debut patch, Wintry Shackles, you can pick it up on sale. I declare the end of this nightmare! Perhaps just as eagerly anticipated as Crimson Weave herself is Bianca Stigmata's new coating, Solitary Dream. Not content to have some of the best special effects in PGR, this luxurious coating is packed with unique features. Brand new poses, eyes that track your finger or mouse, and more. This is the only coating in the game right now that has its own intro animation, and it doesn't stop there. Solitary Dream can be obtained from a coating gacha. If you have 17,500 BC to spare, or 500 rainbow cards, or any combination of both, you can guarantee that you walk away with this beautiful coating. You could even be lucky and win it early. But Solitary Dream is only one of the prizes available from this gacha. Besides useful rewards like full currencies that help offset the initial cost of this banner, there are also a slew of special rewards that you can only get here. Stigmata's matching weapon coating Snow Oath, a player icon that features the Solitary Dream artwork, the Solitary Dream portrait frame, and, best of all, this amazing lobby background. The clock in the background reflects the actual time on your device, and putting Bianca Stigmata in your lobby while she wears Solitary Dream allows her to activate this wonderfully serene special pose. Somehow that's still not all. Whether you acquire this coating or not, you can enjoy a charming limited time story featuring Bianca. Taking place after the events of Across the Ruined Sea, you'll be able to enjoy gorgeous live 2D animations throughout. If you still can't make up your mind, you can even try out Solitary Dream for yourself here too. You can get your hands on this special coating for another one of my favorites, Karenina Sheer. This beautiful festive outfit was originally designed to ring in the year of the rabbit, but it's taken on a new name for the global server, March Hare. Oh my god, you guys just look at her, she's so cute! Ah, oh, the short hair! The little cotton balls inside of her shoes. Ugh, she is so adorable. Obviously, I'm picking this one up, but if this outfit isn't really your style, you might still want the weapon coating, which gives her hammer this really adorable gold and red bunny design. And we can't forget about Alpha's cub. Alpha has been talking about her motorcycle forever, but now we finally get to see it. Motorbolt is one of the best cups, right up there with Rainbow. Motorbolt has the ability to either juggle or pull in enemies, but pulling enemies in is almost always preferable. My 
favorite thing about Motorbolt is the special exclusive move it has for Crimson Weave. To use it, give it the passive skill called Undying Flow and equip it to Alpha. In battle, summon Motorbolt, then use your charge attack. Instead of charging her sword, she will charge up her bike, slamming into everyone in a Kira-like fashion. And during this move, she actually wears the goggles. What a brilliant little blink and you miss it detail. Alpha's six star signature weapon is Nightblaze, an incredibly cool name for an incredibly cool sword. Along with a power boost, it also makes Alpha's core gauge feel faster, meaning she can output high damage more quickly. It's not necessary for her kit, so free-to-play players can comfortably skip it. However, if you have BC to spare, we recommend choosing her weapon over pulling a duplicate copy of Alpha to get her to SS3 rank. Wintry Shackles is packed full of events that don't even require you to own characters to have a lot of fun. Corrupted Battlefront is a game mode that changes PGR's genre entirely. Rather than hack and slash gameplay, you'll control Lee in a top-down shooter. Longtime players will remember this returning game mode from Recitativo di Fantasia, but now it's been improved with much better camera angles and new stages. The more you play, the more your character's mind level will increase, the more points you can put into leveling up skills. And if you want a break from slaughtering legions of corrupted, take it easy with Cooking Lulu. We should probably know better than to let Lucia cook, but if you're brave enough, you can let her do it anyway. You can unlock a whole host of characters to help out at this restaurant, each with their own specialties that can expand when you level them up. Most importantly, Isla is here, so this is a perfect game mode. The game didn't have to tell me her specialty is selling for me to know I'd do anything for her. The choice is yours whether you want to optimize the efficiency of your kitchen or just make the cutest combination of characters work together. If you're Commandant level 70, you can also check out the latest chapter of Cursed Waves, where you can experience a deceptively important story while you get to play with every single character in the game, including Crimson Weave. All of these game modes have amazing rewards, including currencies to pull new characters in banners. Okay, so Winter Shackles truly is living up to the hype, from the story, to the events, to the outfits, but we know why you're really here. Is Alpha really worth your hard-earned BC, or is she maybe a little overrated? Let's look at the facts. Crimson Weave is the absolute best in her role as lightning attacker now and for the foreseeable future, making her a worthy investment. However, it's important to remember that she's not better than any other recent or upcoming S-Ring attacker. See, PGR is a balanced game that encourages you to build different teams for different elements, so it's not like you can just go all in on her and maximize your scores and content not made for her, like the ice or fire stages. But fortunately, obtaining Alpha isn't a gamble. Like every debut character, Crimson Weave is 100% guaranteed during her patch by 60 pulls or 15,000 BC. Just save up your black cards and she is all yours. 15,000 BC is a lot to save if you're new, but if you start playing at the beginning of the patch and don't mind rushing through the story and events, you can actually acquire enough BC to afford her before her banner runs out. Trust me, I've tested it. Just make sure you get an instructor and join a guild for that sweet, sweet experience. So do pull Crimson Weave if you chase the meta. She's the best lightning attacker for the foreseeable future, so don't miss out. You need a better lightning team. If you're missing lightning element characters, Alpha can carry your team until you've filled out the other ranks. Don't forget that you can pull Vera Garnet for free with the S rank selector that will be temporarily available in this patch. She will make Crimson Weave even better. And of course, definitely pull her if you love Alpha! And who wouldn't? Just look at her! On the flip side, don't pull Crimson Weave if, well, I mean, Honestly, there isn't really any reason not to. Oh, unless there is, of course. I declare the end of this nightmare! Look, if you are a true Bianca believer, you'll need to have Solitary Dream at any cost. And for free-to-play players, that cost might just be Lucia Crimson Weave. Since their BC cost is about the same, you'll have to carefully weigh up the pros and cons to decide if Solitary Dream is worth the sacrifice. So, you should watch this video where we extensively cover the most hyped coding in PGR.